All right here, it is about that time of year where I show y'all my NASCAR collection. Enough said. When you first walk into the room, you see a Brett Moffitt t-shirt. He raced his paint scheme at Eldora in 2018 and he finished third. But he fast forwarded a couple months later down the road at Atlanta in 2019. I was able to get him to sign it. Uh, you can see it right there. He's a cool guy, but yeah, I got autograph. Above it are two signs Atlanta Motor Speedway asked us fans to hold up on lap 13 to represent the 13 folds of the American flag. A cool deal there. And below it, I got a Daniel Hemrick Caterpillar poster from 2019. But right here, I got some die casts, a Jamie McMurray throwback right there, like that. Brad Keselowski discount tire. Casey Kane, Regan Smith, a couple Chase Elliott's. I really like the Napa. I like the Hooters. I'm not a big fan of Mountain Dew. I used to be out in the wine not no more. It's just too dark and ugly. Uh, got a couple Eric Mar one hour Marola. You got a Danica Patrick and a Danica Patrick. Uh, a Denny Hamlin car. I really like this. I like the camouflage. You can hardly see it because the light in this room. But yeah, he ran it in 2018 at Daytona in the summer. Got a Casey Mears, a Tony Stewart, a Matt Kenseth throwback from 2015, I'd like to say. Keep on going. A couple Paul Menards and a Joey Logano. Go down here. Got a David Reagan, Greg Galding. This is a rare Greg Galding car, I must say. A lot more Chase Elliott cars, which he raced from 2016 to 2017. You got a lot more. Here's a Ryan Newman car. He wanted this car. This exact paint scheme at Phoenix a couple years back. You got some Dale Juniors. You got some Alex Bowman, who is starting on the pole for the Daytona 500. Some more die cast. Uh, Rusty Wallace, Sterling Marlin. And then you go down here to Terry Labonte, Jeff Wadon, Huss Rickland, and Bill Elliott. Uh, right here, got a couple cars. Tony Stewart. Uh, all right, keep on going down. All right here, Wally Dunlapback wasn't the greatest racer of all time, but he did have some cool paint schemes, and this is one of them. Uh, got a Brandon Gaunt autograph, got a Michael Andretti autograph, and I got a Denny Hamlin autograph, and I got a Daytona sign, or poster. You go right here, my last row of die gets just one, and uh, you got a couple Martin Truex Jr. plate tags. Uh, this is from 2016. And here's some starting lineup posters, which I got from Atlanta Motor Speedway in the races I attended. Uh, go down, some Dale Jr. stuff, a sheet metal thing right there. A lot of cool stuff, a poster. And now it gets into my Jimmy Johnson shelf. Uh, in the back, uh, Hendrick Motorsports drivers were on the cover in NASCAR Heat 3. See it right there? Got that right there in Jimmy Johnson stuff. I had nowhere else to put it. I just put it right there. Uh, but... Got a cool car. He ran this in, I would like to say, 2018. Uh, his final race of Lowe's. Uh, cool deal there. Got his Ally car from 2019. And here is his race win car from Atlanta uh, in 2016. I was at this race, a great ending there. Uh, at the time, they had that overtime line on the back straightaway. Had a big wreck uh, involving... If I'm not mistaken, David Reagan, Clint Boyer, and a lot of other drivers. And that's what helped Jimmy Johnson get to victory lane. Got a couple more Jimmy Johnson stuff. More Jimmy Johnson and more Jimmy Johnson stuff. Uh, but up here, got my Daniel Suarez stuff. Uh, hero card in the back. Got his Eris car from 2017. His peak car. His Eris car from the Xfinity Series and his Xfinity Series Championship car uh, on the top. It says Xfinity Series Champion. And right here, this is not a Daniel Suarez car. It's a Carl Edwards car from 2015. There you see it. Uh, I thought it looked cool with this uh, my Daniel Suarez stuff. So, yeah, let's put it there. Got a Jupiter car in the back. It's not a Daniel Suarez car. It's from Cards. It's Bobby Swift. Uh but there you go. I uh, thought it was a Swartz at the time. Didn't know much, but, uh, much better. Ouch. Uh, and that's about it. I uh, got a Daniel Swartz autograph right there on the Stanley car box. And uh, on top of it is his 41 car, which he ran in 2019. 
a bad deal there. Uh, he ran for Stewart Off Racing for one year, missed the playoffs, and didn't get re-signed. Uh, here's an autograph from his win at Michigan. Uh, you can see the certificate of authenticity in the back. Go down, you got some Martin Truex Jr. stuff. Uh, this is his win from Pocono, and a lot of y'all got to remember, this was the win that started off pretty much everything in his career. I know he won at Dover and Sonoma prior to 2015, but this was his first win in front of Jura Racing, and it built up some momentum for later on that season, which he made the Final Four. And following that season, that team switched to Toyota, and look at him now. He's racing in a 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, you go down, you got some Jamie McMurray cars. This one's autographed, uh, but keep on going down. But I want to add, this Bass Pro Shops car is my first diecast, uh, 124 diecast that I've ever gotten. A cool deal there. But go up here. This is my Dylan brother stuff. I uh, got a couple of Ty Dylan stuff and a lot of Austin Dylan stuff. Uh, here is Austin Dylan's paint scheme, which he ran at the Coca Cola 600 in 2018 if i'm not mistaken this was the first time the three car got the victory lane since earnhardt cool deal there had to pick it up got a couple dot casts this is the one ty dylan ran in 2014 at charlotte uh here's a ty dylan die cast which i got autographed you can hardly see it it's in black and then over here i got an austin dylan hero car from dow and a autographed dow car box uh, right here, got some cards. And uh, for all people viewing this video, please tell me, what is this? I'm confused. I got to have a card box. But you go up top, got some truck die cast, a cool Johnny Sider truck, Myatt Snyder, Matt Crafton, and the one and only Grant Enfinger. And right there, a Daytona 500 car box, including Davey Allison, Morgan Shepard, and Jeff Bodine. And right there, I get a Ross Chastain autograph, Casey Kane, Kyle Busch, Andy Defending, Truck Champ, Sheldon Creed, Simon Pagano, Joseph Newgarden, and a Smoke uh, Championship banner. Got some Brad Keselowski stuff, uh, his throwback from 2015, and his Xfinity car. Uh, a interesting deal there. Uh, I was supposed to get a Ryan Blaney car, but they sent a Brad Keselowski on accident. Didn't complain too much about it. Uh, started room for Keselowski at the time. When that happened, uh, I got some more die casts. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this, but I, I do got a Michael Walter autograph right there and a Daniel Hammer autograph in the back. But right here, I got some autographs. Uh, my address is on it, but I'm not going to show it. Uh, I got some Chase Briscoe cars. Uh, some autographs right here. You got a Corey LaJoy and a Michael McDowell and a couple of Michael Walters. Uh, this is a Chase Briscoe truck. Uh, he ran this truck at, I can't remember, as an Eldora in 2019. But that's not important. It's what's important is the one and only Mr. Barry Griggs sent this to me. And I'm extremely thankful for this. And if you're watching this video, thank you for all the things you have given me. Uh, it started off with the hot pass for last year's race in Atlanta, uh, which unfortunately was no fans in attendance. But you hooked me up with some Zoom calls. It was a fun time. I can't thank you enough. Uh, this means a lot. Uh, but right here, I got some Tyler Reddick koozies, which I got him to sign at a autograph session. Uh, Xfinity Series there. Uh, Chase Briscoe car. Got a Brett Moffitt race win truck at Atlanta. Uh, it's autographed right there in a paint pen purple. As always, if you get a race winning car, you get the race winning sticker. But down here, got a Brett Moffitt autograph hero card. And here's my pit pass. I got autographed by a lot of drivers. Alex Bowman, and here this year, Daniel Suarez, Paul Menard might be not the nicest person in the world to a lot of people, but you know what? I talked to him for maybe about five minutes that day. He's a really cool guy. Talked about racing. Go down here, some Matt Kenseth stuff, and some more die cast, and some more die cast. Uh, go over here. Got some cool die cast there. Kyle Petty test car. Uh, Bill Elliott, a, co a cool Jeff Gordon car. Uh, here's my Jeff Gordon stuff. A Jeff Gordon autographs inside the box. I just got a lot of stuff in front of it. All right. Got some Dale Jr. cars. Uh, 
This is a race winning car right there and right there, but I got a Dale Jr. autograph and a hauler and a cool car. And then got a Truex and a Joe Gibbs autograph, I must add. We got some cool die casts along the way. But above this all, got a Brett Moffitt autograph, Dale Hemrick autograph, my first ever autograph I got in person. A Brett Moffitt hero card, Casey Kane, a really cool guy, Cody Coughlin and Ryan Hunter Ray, and below it, I got some NASCAR Authentics. And I got my Ricky Stenhouse Jr. stuff. Uh, got the autograph in the back, and yeah. Go down, uh, Elliot Sadler. Got a Ryan Priest autograph, and some more die cast. You go over here, you got a Daniel Hemrick autograph in the back. Now, here's all of my Kevin Harvick stuff. Got his championship car. Got a poster of him, Richard Childress and Jeff Burton. And his Michigan win from 2019. Uh, his Xfinity scars. Uh, Jimmy John's Mobile One. Uh, right here on the top, I got Richard Childress autograph. He's a really cool guy. Uh, all right, uh, keep on going down. Got some die cast, a Rusty Wallace card in the back. Keep on going down and more die cast. Got a Kevin Harvick hero card, Ty Dillon hero card, Chris Busher, and a random card at the bottom, which I got at the store. I forgot what store it was. And there's is my Bush brother stuff. Uh, I sent off a lot of Kurt Busch stuff to get autographed. Uh, hopefully it comes back in the coming days. But here it is. I got a Kurt Busch autograph right there. A couple cars. This right here, if you attend some races uh, and you go to some of the souvenir haulers, and some of the hot or similar places outside of the area, there will be some cars that are beaten up. Uh, they do this on purpose. They call it race version cars. And uh, supposedly this is the one from Daytona, the Clash in 2016. And yeah, I had to pick it up. It's a cool car. His wreck version at the time I thought was cool, but yeah, right there. Kyle Bush stuff. Right here, I'm not going to get too much into it. Uh, I got my address right there. Uh, you got some hero cards, cards, and some books, and some video games, and programs. I got along the way. Got a lot of autographs on those programs. But right here, I got my Tony Stewart collection. His throwback from 2015. Some cool cards in front of it and the side of it. Go down. A lot of his Tony cars and more Tony Stewart stuff. And even more Tony Stewart stuff. There you go. But above it, I do get a Jeff Gordon hat and a couple cars. Ryan Blaney, Noah Gregson, Denny Hamlin, Jeffrey Earnhardt, a really cool paint scheme. Kyle Larson and Ty Majeski, and a Chase Elliott car. But right here, I got a couple Mark Martin cars. Uh, Viagra. I'll keep on going down. Vaveline. And here's a car. The 55 car. This was right when I got into NASCAR. I started watching it. I really like this paint scheme. He ran this in 2013, but there you go. Uh, down there, it's nothing too special. That's where I keep my headphones. Obviously, Clorox wipes. Gotta stay safe out there. But above it, I got a Dale Senior uh, car inside a cool box. Right there it is called the Intimidator. That's what Dale was known for. And above it, I got a die gas and a box and a soda bottle. Right here, I got some die cast. Uh, this is one from 2001. Unfortunately, he did not run this car in 2001. We all know why. Uh, sad event took place. Got some more cars. And even more cars down there. Uh, Dale Sr., I, I was a big fan. Uh, when I go back, like, he was before my time. But I go back and watch his highlights. Man, I wish he would still keep uh, kept on racing i uh, wish that event did not take place at daytona sad event took place there uh, really wish that didn't happen he was destined to do big things and who knows he would have got the 10 championships uh, that's my opinion he would not have just stopped at seven i hate that uh but you go up top got a david reagan spencer boyd Brennan gone elliot sadler dale hemrick ricky stenhouse jr you can hardly even see it it's in black Cody Coughlin, Brennan Gone, Ryan Blaney, and yeah, Pescar, and a McMurray poster. 
got a Coca-Cola 600 hat and a Mighty Racing hat. I forgot which team that was. I think it's Joe Nemechek. We raced at 01. Got a couple figurines there. A Mark Martin poster. Got some cards. And here is some 43 collection. Richard Petty, Bubba Wallace, Eric Amarola, and Bobby Hamilton, and a lot of other drivers. Uh, got an Eric Amarola throwback from 2015. Some more 43 gear. Uh, but yeah. And above it, I got some Formula One hats. Uh, this one right here is from France uh, from 2018. Got the flag underneath it. I uh, got to put that up. Uh, right here, you got Belgium 2018. There you go. Uh, but above it, I got some hero cards that I got framed. Grand Infinger, Ricky Stenhouse, Eric Jones. You can hardly see it right there. It's in black. Eric Jones card. Clint Boyer autograph. Corey Roper, who nearly won the truck race at Daytona. But you got a Stephen Light autograph right there. When he made his return to NASCAR in 2019. Got a Gus Dean, Ben Rhodes, who won at Daytona. Austin Hill. Chad Finley. Garrett Smithley, Sheldon Creed, Chris Busher, uh, Harrison Burton, Todd Gillen, and a Ryan Priest. A couple more Ryan Priest. Uh, you got a Chris Busher, another Chris Busher autograph. Uh, up top, Chad Fincham, and then you go to a Grand Infair. Uh, but right here, you got a hat, two hats right here that are autographed. This one right here. I can just name them for days. Uh, there's a lot of grass on there. Some big ones are Daniel Suarez. And right there is a Daryl Waltrip. And above it, I get a checker flag signed by uh, Priest and uh, what's the name? Busher. Back at the autograph session in 2019. Here's a Kurt Busch hat. Got signed by the one and only Brett Moffitt, Spencer Boyd, and Daniel Hemrick. Uh, Hemrick, interesting story there. He decided to pick up the hat. When I gave him the sign, he put it on his head. He said, it looks nice. I walked off, and he laughed, and I went back and signed it. Cool deal. Uh, cool interaction. Uh, Ryan Blaney. Got some autographs. Uh, Kyle Larson, Chris Busher, Eric Jones, Eric Jones, Clint Boyer, Casey Kane. Go down here, just some race one cars. Casey Kane's at the end. Got a couple things in the back. Uh, not much to see. And we got some Clint Boyer stuff. Clint Boyer, obviously my favorite driver. Autograph right there, and an autograph right there, and an autograph right there. Uh, Clint Boyer fans didn't experience much times in Victory Lane, but one we did experience of him going to Victory Lane was Martinsville in 2018. Had to pick up the diecast. Uh, but there you go. And now you go right here the TV. Got my PlayStation stuff. Got some pedals down there, steering wheel, a shifter. Uh, I've been to PlayStation, obviously. Got a Chase Briscoe autograph I got in the cards pack earlier this week. And I got a Lewis Hamilton hat, uh, which he wore this hat in the Abu Dhabi uh, race weekend uh, in 2020. And I got a Valtteri Bottas, my favorite Formula 1 driver. He uh, wears his hat all the time. Cool deal. But there you go. There is all of my NASCAR collection. Y'all stay tuned for the 2022 video, which will be coming out in one year from now. Peace.